0711. And um, the fund, I'm not sure what the fund is, 7110, is you try to make our budget units the same as the fund number. And um, within the MUNIS system, we can look and see what cash fund balance is in that budget unit. And that fund balance is taken into consideration during the budget process as to how much funds we have available to bring forward. <coughs> and then is there one page in the budget where all the funds that the county has in reserve would be shown and itemized by the funds? Yes. Okay. That is in the very beginning of your budget book. Uh, okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Supervisor Smith? Yes, um, I have a couple questions on this. Um, so first of all, to back up in terms of the agenda summary, it states that the during 0809 the vehicle replacement fund was suspended. That, that I certainly recall. Uh, however, it says the board authorized the purchase of replacement vehicles during the final budget process, utilizing revenues collected during the prior fiscal year with appropriations approved at 415. That's so I guess what I'm looking for is how do we track, uh, and I understand that the estimated cost is now higher, it's $50,000 higher. So it says that General Services is seeking board approval to increase the appropriations and revenues within the vehicle replacement fund. However, when you go down below, it talks about the $50,000 is already budgeted. So to me, there's, it at least that appears without clarification that there's a disconnect between the dollars appropriated and uh, this additional request. If, if, if it's already budgeted, why, why do we need to approve it? So where, how, do we, how do you connect the dots there? If I could be allowed to answer that. Um, first of all, I just want to say to answer your question, Supervisor Smith, um, the reason why you're seeing these agenda items today, number one, is because because with the new Munis finance system, and this is the first year that I will remind you that we've been actually on the budget in the finance system, Munis, as op opposed to the old finance system, doesn't allow you to make any to do any appropriations within the finance system as it should um, without a appropriating and increasing those appropriations. In the final budget, what should have happened, and it's just kind of a learning curve that we are getting used to, is when we're using designated fund balance within a budget unit, we have to be able, we have to appropriate those funds. So when we decided to suspend the vehicle replacement program this year and not have any additional charges go into that budget unit, we still had fund balance available in the vehicle replacement fund, for example, um, to, um, purchase vehicles, which is exactly what GSA did in October. But those purchase of vehicles did not actually get into the accounting system, so we have to increase our appropriations utilizing our fund balance. What you won't see is the revenue adjustment because it's just fund balance within the accounting system itself, but you will see the increase in appropriations to, um, to actually purchase those vehicles. Munis does not allow us to do any transactions unless we appropriate those funds. But, if, but so is it true the board approved 415,000? Yes. We didn't approve 465. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll defer that. As far as that goes, we did have the damaged vehicle, and then we had the other vehicles that we had purchased that the board authorized, but never actually appropriated the fund along with those requests that came to you from planning and building and air quality. So we had a total of 415,000. but. At the end of the day, on the attached spreadsheet that you've got, you're going to see that with the two additional vehicles that were approved, the appropriations were not increased at the same time. We didn't need actually that much money because revenues had come in because all vehicles have to be purchased out of 0711. So this is a housekeeping item. We waited till we were finished purchasing all of the vehicles and we also got revenue in from the insurance company into that line item as well. And so if you were theoretically to take the 415 that we estimated for the 16 vehicles, you'd probably, if that is exactly how much we spent, which we did not, we spent significantly less than that, but then you have to add in the other vehicles as well, meaning planning and building, the sheriff's wrecked vehicle, and then the vehicle for air quality also came out of this budget unit. Revenue was came in offsetting all three of those, right. but the end appropriation doesn't match the actual expenditures, which is why we have to come in as a housekeeping item for because you. Because an air quality vehicle, isn't that sort of, sort of 
a separate issue. I mean, they have their own budget. So yeah, but money money gets transferred in, right? And then we pay out, right? Air quality so if we pay out of 0711, yeah. uh, we paid out three additional vehicles that we didn't, did not expect to pay out, even though revenue came in offsetting those expenditures. So in order for me to actually pay all of the bills associated with the purchase of these 16 vehicles, which the board approved, I have to come in and ask you to appropriate an additional 50,000. The revenue is already in there and it's offsetting. It's really an accounting function. In the old finance system, we actually wouldn't, there wouldn't be a need to come before you because we had the revenue offsetting it and the appropriation would just take place. But in the new finance system, it's actually a good thing. Departments are required to come back to you. And what? so we'll, you'll probably see this with this fund, any, any funds that have carryover of balances, 1710, 1712, uh, 07, uh, 13, 0714, 0715, and then 0711. To put it simply, when the money comes in, it doesn't take our approval, but for us to appropriate it, to pay it out, it, take, it yeah. takes our approval. Well, understood. Yeah. Additional questions. It, on your spreadsheet, you have replacement of sheriff radios for 19,000. You also yes. have uh, the replacement of the wrecked vehicle. Do, does that funding stream come out of the sheriff's budget? The 19,000 for the for the radios? No, it does not. It's budgeted for in the vehicle replacement because the sheriff pays into the replacement of his vehicles and that is included. So every time that he pays in, previously not in 08, 09, but previous fiscal year, when they pay in, those expenditures are supposed to be covered out of 07, 11. So where, where would we look to see uh, the revenues in from the sheriff's budget covering sheriff vehicles and radios and so forth? I'd like to see, I'd, I'd like to see the detail of that. Can you explain mm -hmm. on the spreadsheet where that is? I don't have the detail as to where that comes from the budget unit. This, I would have to ask uh, Meredith, you know, in the auditor's office as to how those funds, we do a journal entry from um, the county garage transferring out of the sheriff's department, but I believe that comes out of the, just the general fund though. Right. No, it doesn't come yeah. out of asset forfeiture or anything like that. We, we put on the fixed asset request um, that uh, the board adopts where the funds are going to be and um, so that also will give you an indication of uh, if they're going to pay, if the sheriff, for example, would be paying it out of asset forfeiture or if it's coming out of the sheriff's budget. Um, and I believe that if you look on the fixed asset list, you do see in the budget book where he's showing where that revenue would come from. Um, if there's any additional purchases that the sheriff is anticipating to pay for uh, radios, vehicles, et cetera, he has to come before the board and identify those funds. In this case, uh, I I'm not sure if it's f asset forfeiture or if it's specifically out of his budget unit. Well, I'd like to know with respect to what we're being asked to look at today here. It's got re replacement of radios. 19,000 accessories for a, an additional vehicle, 8,000. So are these additional funds that we're, we're being asked to appropriate out of the general fund? Or can you show line item transfers from the sheriff's budget into to, cre to create the package for the vehicles? I mean, I, I'm interested in that delineation. Well, when the sheriff pays, we have a, we have a, sta we have a rate that uh, departments pay into for vehicle replacement. And as far as the sheriff goes, I could provide the board with some additional information, but the sheriff does pay for replacement in, in, in accordance with his, the vehicles that his deputies and himself and everybody else is driving. So that is all gone in here and tracked. And we only pay out of, we will only buy so many sheriff's vehicles with equipment. We actually have a master spreadsheet where we actually keep track of what vehicle actually pays into replacement. When that vehicle is replaced, it comes out of that particular pot of money. Now, Munis, it's all, you know, one big pot of money, but I actually track it separately. So um, if the board wants, I could provide uh, a lot of detail if you really want it, showing that, as a matter of fact, when we look at vehicle purchases and replacements for the fiscal year, we will look at, okay, well, here, the sheriff is a request. He wants to replace, you know, we meet with all the department heads.